welcome to the Inside Track on Real Estate with the Decker team. I'm Yetta Decker, and I'm here with one of my favorite sidekicks at the far end. Hi, I'm Candace St. Louis with the Decker team. Well, actually, she's Candace Decker St. Louis. Don't let her fool you. <laughs> and we are here today with two amazing clients of ours that we thought you should meet, you should get to know, and you should hear maybe part of their story. Well, should, that's probably not a cool word. However, you will love this. You're going to experience a fun time with us. So welcome, Kim and Patrick. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Well, we're thrilled that you're here. And if you are watching, you're going to notice something a little peculiar this time because I don't think this has ever happened before on a show. A, we don't do a lot of shows before, so that's a little unusual. Actually, it might even be the first time we've recorded with four. We've recorded with three quite a few times. Um, actually did do four once, so there's the memory coming back. <laughs> anyway, having said that, you've probably never seen this before. If you look at Kim and Candace, they look like they're match bookends in terms of their dress, even the style of the dress. The, the black and white one's got a little more white, one's got a little more black. <laughs> They didn't call each other, you know. And now I'm not sure that I believe that, and yet that's what they both told me. So I'm going to believe it's true because I know I didn't call Patrick. That's right. <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, I confirm. Uh, perfect. And his shirt, if you're watching, has pink and white checks on it, and I'm wearing a pink jacket with a white top. Here so we're thinking we are coordinated. And we are ready to roll, not only coordinated from a physical appearance, coordinated from just being able to connect with you in a way that you can hear what it might be like for a client, what it might be like for a client that works <coughs> specifically with the Decker team. So we're going to let them share most of their story, or, well, part of their story. They can't tell all of it because it's long yes. and wonderful for the most part, right? It's awesome. So how did it start? How did it start? Okay, so um, back in December, mm -hmm. in the winter time, um, our son moved out, and so we decided, you know, we want to have change. yeah change <laughs> in our life, empty nested, and we figured, you know, we we were just bored, you know, we, not having you know children to look after. We thought, oh, okay, what if um, we went online and checked things out? But not only that, though. Um, well, um, it wasn't we. You started checking. Yeah, that's, that's right? true. Right? He's right. He's right. The old other factor was uh, Patrick's mom came to live with us uh, months before that, and we thought we wanted to give everybody some space and some privacy. Privacy. So yeah. you're not empty nesters. True you know, enough. You're <laughs> true enough. Nester. That's a good point. <laughs> it's just a different. Our nest. son went out, and yes. my mom came in. Right? Yeah. yeah, which is awesome, by the way, <laughs> because. We share a lot of the responsibilities, so that that's nice. That that um, that uh, that space that we live in, <clears throat> we all get along together. But I thought, you know what? I, I wanted to change it up a little bit, and we, I just went on the internet again. It was really me being bored, and searched up, you know, a few keywords, and I knew that we always wanted to land in Rideau Forest. So we like, Forest we like is these. just outside Manitou. That's yeah. correct. And the first house that I found was the house that that matched your criteria. That correct. We that we ended up and, buying. Yeah. <laughs> like how yeah. wild is that? How wild is that? Yeah. It's kind of like as serendipitous is wearing the same outfit. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Or <laughs> it's meant, it's to, meant be, to be. Right? Kind of it's thing. meant yeah. to be. Yeah. So you found a house online. Yes. That you thought interested you? Very much so. And what did you think, Patrick? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Tell of course, this truth. is all coming yeah. out of the Tell blue, the so I wasn't expecting. Uh, to move anytime soon. Yeah. We had not even discussed moving at that point or anything. So, uh, of course, I resisted a little bit. Saying, a little? <laughs> a little. Um, I've got to know to, you yeah. a little bit, Patrick. Yeah. For and me, I it was suspect. a little bit of resistance. Yeah. To Kim, it might have been a little more of a, yeah, a little more complicated than that. But, uh, you know, eventually I said, okay, let's go visit. Let's go see it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I kind of liked it too. So uh, You did? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. did you tell her? Uh, not right away. Okay, not I, right I, away. I held off a little bit. That's the, appropriate, that card a little, that's uh, the appropriate response. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I sent him the link first. I sent him the link and I said, check this out. But she said, saw it, right? Like, she saw it. I, I, I looked at it and I said, okay, let's go look at it. So she knew. But and I didn't know I didn't how to pronounce it your name. Is that Yetta? Is it Jetta? And I was confused. Yeah. <laughs> I was, okay, so I wasn't really sure who was selling the house, but I said, I love the pictures, love the YouTube video. 
And I, I couldn't get over, um, you know, that it was um, close by enough because we're, we were uh, in Barhaven beforehand. And I thought, you know, is this the middle of winter? So I decided, you know, to call the number, call the number on the listing. And that, yeah, when, when yeah, yeah that, that's where Candace yeah. phoned me back. Yeah. And I was really shocked because she called me back and we sat on the, on the phone for one hour. The first time around? Oh, yeah. The first time, yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, I was surprised too. So, generally, <laughs> <laughs> it was, you don't do that all the time? No, not all the time. <laughs> I'd say that was a first. It was like talking to an old best friend oh, right away. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, I got connected with Kim and it was a property I knew well and had for sale. And so one of the things we do when selling our properties is yet his names everywhere. We do um, all the selling together. Um, so when I called her back about the property, right away I could tell there was some trust you had in us. You were open, you were willing to hear what I had to say. Mm -hmm. You treated me like a professional in the industry and you were willing for guidance and more information. So that was that was really neat. And I think that's why our conversation was an hour long because we covered um, things like a little bit of personality yes, assessment in there. We did actually. First time. Right? <laughs> did we talk? Did they talk about yeah, you, Patrick? Wait, we talked. I don't know. <laughs> Clearly, with the two of them giggling like that, the yeah. answer is yes. Yeah, we yeah. stayed for an hour, and I was surprised because I, I would expect that most real estate agents that I've met in the past have a very, very tight schedule and, you know, are to the point and rushed and have to go to the next meeting type thing. So I felt coming in, I just wanted some information. I didn't want to take too much of her time. And what I appreciated was that she got on her computer right away and I could hear her click, click, click and doing this. And what about this? And what about that? And and I thought, oh, wow, she has time to chat with me. And I happened to be on vacation that week. It was a uh, so Early you were in January. vacation yeah, mode. Yeah, I was in vacation mode. I had all the time. <laughs> yeah, and, and I didn't realize that she had uh, committed that whole hour for me just to like chat, chat about our needs. And that was the first step of me trusting uh, Candace was like, wow, she spent the time with me to go over all of the details that I needed to know. And that's when we started talking about personalities. I said, okay, so my husband's a numbers guy. <laughs> we need to approach him. <laughs> <laughs> We now <laughs> need a strategy. <laughs> you know my ally is yeah, yeah. yeah. it's it quickly uh, one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that helped me, and I do. Um, I do definitely each time come prepared, but I knew from what Kim was saying how to come prepared to put Patrick at ease. So I brought all the paperwork that explained about real mm -hmm. estate. I brought the information about the sale of their house because I learned that they did need to sell first before they could buy. Um, and so I brought all of those things um, to the first meeting. And we viewed a couple homes because I wanted mm -hmm. you to see what was out there, not right. just one yep. house. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did end up, you know, coming back to that original one. But mm -hmm. yeah, we did. We did see a few. So. Which is appropriate because yeah, I think absolutely. sometimes when you're looking to buy a home, you want to make sure you've got the best house. And although you can do a lot of great searching online today. Yes. Yeah. Right. Like Nothing you guys like had already seen the video. Yeah. You'd already seen the pictures and right. we have quite a few pictures and they're well taken. They don't tend to be two fish eyes so that the rooms right. look 12 times as big as they actually are and they're they're done professionally so yeah. there's Correct. the right lighting it's done so yes. that you can see the best of the house and yet see the true house yeah. right mm -hmm. right Absolutely. and likewise with the video so you knew more or less what you were coming to and if you'd ever only seen one i suspect in the back of your mind you would have been wondering is this actually the best one? Right, exactly. Yep. Also, at the back of our mind was the fact that we needed to sell our house. I knew that we needed to sell our house first before we even purchase another one. And it was, again, January of 2016. And we thought, well, you know, what are the chances of us selling our house in the winter? Probably it only will sell. And that, that's in after the we spring. visited yeah, the, the, the homes. And then Candace came over and uh, said, no, this is the best time to do it, right? So well, we decided homes, to... Well, because homes sell 12 months of the year. Right. Contrary right. to popular yes. belief, the hype of the spring market, market thing. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. yeah, we didn't know that. We thought, oh, for sure, we're going to have to wait and all. No, maybe the house will be sold. The, the house that we wanted, we thought it would be sold by that time. And so we, we you know, we talked to her. We said, we're also going to need to sell our home, too. Uh, but, you know, I was very frank. You know, I said, you know, Patrick, being a numbers guy, you know, he might be looking at potentially selling it on our own. Right. So perhaps we need to, like, discuss our options. Mm-hmm. And that's where... She came prepared. Yeah. <laughs> she came prepared. And then we realized, that you, you told us that there was only one other house on the market at the time in our, na- in our neighborhood. And uh, that's why we thought, okay, now is the time to, uh, availability was low. So we said, okay. That's what surprises yeah. the most. Yeah. She came to our house not just talking about other houses that we'd be interested in, but most importantly, she came with information about our home our property, what its value was, and the values of the houses in our area that sold recently in the last period. Mm -hmm. And for us, that was like, oh, wow, we didn't even expect her to go through all that research and that that detail. Yeah, Yeah, our first meeting, and I couldn't believe it because it really solidified our decision at that point. It was like, yeah, I think we want her to help us sell our house as well as purchase the house that we just got. Because there is a real tendency in today's economy because real estate fees are expensive, right? Like it's it's an expensive professional service that you pay for. And so you want to make sure you're getting value. Yes. Right? And I think sometimes what happens is we get focusing on as homeowners, because I've been there, I wasn't always a realtor, contrary to popular belief. (laughs) There was a time where I was that homeowner or home buyer and homeowner and had not been represented well. And so then you don't believe there's any value, Mm -hmm. right? Right. And so often what I do, and I know others have done as well and consider, is we get focused on that fee that we're paying out rather than focused on the 90, 95, 96% of the value of our home that ha- that's not part of the fee. Correct. Right? So we forget about the big part mm-hmm. and we get focusing on the little part, even though it sounds like a lot of money, and I get it is a lot of money, it's still we get fixated on the wrong piece. Correct. So how do I protect my 94, 95% of the value of my home? Well, that's by having professional representation. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, we that's were sold what on you that. decided. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what was it? Other than she came prepared, and I love that, was there anything else that caused you to go, hey, you know what, I've been thinking about selling privately and now I'm not thinking about it anymore. What was that turning point? I'll let you answer that, but I have my answer too. You said that I I would have considered, uh, I'm not sure about that. Like, uh, I always like to toss all all my options. I don't think I was ever serious about uh, selling it on our own. But um, yeah, no, I, I think... Uh, this is our third home. Right. Okay, so we have done it before. And uh, we always uh, used uh, an agent uh, in the past as well. I've helped my grandparents sell their home. We used an agent. I helped my parents sell their home. We used an agent as well. So I don't think I had really any intentions of uh, selling it on our own. It sounds like your wife did, though. <laughs> well, it well, sounds like... It's something like... that I may have said, yeah, you know, maybe we should consider it. Uh, just out of, you know, because I always look at all my options. And that's but, good. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, right. I think that's more or less where he was coming from was that, hey, you know, we've done this a few times with agents. Is there is there something that we ha- could have learned from them and, right. you know, save on uh, paying the fees for a realtor? And, you know, I said, well, honestly, I have no clue what it takes, okay, to sell a house. I don't want to have to go through the research and go online. I don't want to have to, like, mess up and t- have to learn that I did it yeah, wrong. Yeah, because there's a it learning curve, right? Yeah. I'm busy. You're busy. We both work exactly. full time. And that, that's, that was you know, the biggest thing. We know our thing, strengths. But, yeah. right. And we can do anything we want to. But really, do we really want to have to learn how to sell our own house and then make the answer mistakes? Was no. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then we, when we met her, we thought, okay, she's honest. And we like the honesty. We like the fact that she came prepared. You know, like your personality. Yeah, it was, exactly. Uh, so good. it was a good yeah. mix with us. I think uh, w- with our personalities, him being very detailed, and I'm quite detailed in my own, but at the same time, we wanted a personal contact that we could trust and just talk yeah. with and not feel rushed, not feel yeah. like, okay, we gotta really go. We feel you know? we were getting like, you know, personal. the honest answers. Yeah. No smoke screen. No, it was just like... Uh, the yeah. wrong numbers. Yeah. And you talked a lot about numbers, so the numbers were really important to you guys. Absolutely. And you felt well, it had to work, right? You, well, yeah. Of course, yeah. it had yeah. to work. Right, I get it. 
<laughs> and so we got the numbers under yeah. control. And so I think what's cool about that is not only did the numbers work, they were the truthful numbers. Correct. Yes. Yes. Right? It wasn't Correct. like you, I, I can't remember who said smoke screen. Yes. I did. You said smoke screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because that's something that you have to be careful about. Yeah, we've seen that before in our previous uh, homes that, that we sold, you know, sometimes that happens. Yeah, right? You get some really high number from an agent that wants to sell the house as opposed to a real market value of what the house should be uh, selling at. Well, I think unfortunately sometimes what happens is when it's priced out of the market, in fact, the, the realtor benefits potentially from getting buyers from that sign mm -hmm. and right. they never get a sold sign on the property. Mm -hmm. Right. And we have long ago realized that we're not actually serving our seller if it doesn't get turned into a sold sign. Right. And what were you telling me about sold sign earlier today? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I noticed that um, in the area that we live in, a few houses had sold recently by your team. And I love the energy that you guys put on your signs. It says, yay, we're sold, you know, with three exclamation marks. I had never seen that before. You usually just see the four letters, right? Sold. And that, and that speaks a lot about the energy that your team brings. Well, and what's, what I love about that is the woohoo sold and the yay sold, that idea came from clients, oh, wow. just like you guys, right? Like we want to hear what they have to say. So one of my clients said, it's been a journey because they'd attempted to sell privately for a long time first these okay. other clients okay. and then they invited me into the conversation they interviewed four realtors and then decided that we were absolutely the team to serve them and so the journey was pretty long for them not because we necessarily took that long and yet the whole journey was long and as we got the soul ready to go she said could it say yay sold or <laughs> woohoo sold or something, something that's with a little, got more a little emotion, bit of energy yeah. 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 and I said Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'll make that Let me get that handled. <laughs> so I called our custom sign guy and had him print me some. And we put it up there when we sold when we really? actually went firm. If you're just joining us now on the inside track on real estate, Candace Decker St. Louis and Yetta Decker are having a great conversation with Kim and Patrick Vachon about their home buying and home selling experience. They have actually done both with the Decker team and in fact have introduced us to other people mm -hmm. and bigger than that, well as big as that, I shouldn't say bigger, as big as that, they have been a reference. Mm -hmm for clients that wanted to confirm that we might be a good choice. So people you didn't know. Correct. That's right. Phoned Called you. Us and, yeah. yeah. So how did that go? Well, it went very well, I think. Um, Candace <laughs> just called us in advance and asked, can yes. we give your name as a reference? And we said, absolutely. Yeah. And that, well, the way it went was she contacted me. She texted me and I said, yeah, let's get on the phone. And, and so we talked about it. I said, okay, well, hold on a second. So if, if this man is asking for a reference, you know, give me a little bit of uh, background on his personality. Maybe, you know, he doesn't want a wife who's super excited and, and, and you know, <laughs> a, a loud personality. Maybe he wants the more calculative, detail-oriented person who can speak factually about things. So basically, Based on that, we made the decision, you know, have him call Pat. You know, Pat can give him the raw facts based on his personality. I, I'm more than happy to speak about it from, from the wife's standpoint. Uh, no problems there. But he ended up calling Patrick, and they had a quick three-and-a-half-minute phone call. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because um, he had some very specific questions, um, and I feel like I just answered them honestly. Can you remember them. what any of the questions I, actually, were? Actually, I don't, I don't remember. Because... Um, they were, she was, he was asking about them being our realtor to sell our house and, and to, to purchase, um, right? Yeah, because you, you listened to the conversation. Yes, but, of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> of course, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did explain to him, I remember explaining to him that um, you, you helped us purchase mm -hmm. and sell, and that went very well. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. It that was, there's a synergy that exists when you have the same person. Exactly. That. Because they actually get you. Yeah. Correct. It's a win-win. Yeah. Win. Yeah. Win. Yeah. 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 Like it's yeah. all the way yeah. around, right? Yeah. Right. Because when, and I've often had that question by folks that are thinking of buying and selling. They're saying, well, would we not be better to work with a realtor? Have somebody have independent. Somebody independent, or, independent yeah. on the other side. And I go, well, in fact, it's mostly going to work against you because you've got to get two people in the loop. You've got to make Correct. sure information from one is 
transferred to the other, whereas if one person and one team. So when I say one person, the right. whole team yeah. supported sure, sure, sure. you. Yep. You just the front person who's amazing at what she does yes. is Candace and was there for you. And yet if there was ever questions, even in terms of value, we would have collective conversations in the background. Mm-hmm. We Correct. often stand over each other's yeah. computer when we're doing the analysis and, yeah. yes. going, so what do you think? I'm not right. going to tell you anything. <laughs> and what do you think? And then if the numbers don't come up the same, then there has to be a pretty intense conversation right. about what it is are we missing? Who's right. missing what? Because really, yep. the home seller and the realtor, with good data, with good information yes. provided, mm-hmm. really ought we not to get the same answer. Right. I find that the turnaround time was fantastic because Mm -hmm. I had one person that we needed to deal with. I, you know, we didn't have to go through Candace to go to another realtor to get to the owner of the home that we're trying to sell to buy from. It was immediate turnaround time. And for us, that was important that, uh, you know, to have that constant communication with her and to be able to call her up at any point in time and, and discuss anything. We got immediate turnaround on our questions and and to know that all the incentives are aligned for that deal correct to happen right right? like uh right yeah and i can promise you had you met with candace developed a great relationship and then the home that you wanted wasn't a home that we actually had for sale because that's reasonably unusual your situation is a little unique that you would fall in love with the one that we have Mm -hmm. right um even if you had then chosen a different property, you would have felt very much still that commonality that same, and uh, that same yeah, care no exactly. because she's taking care of both sides of your buy and your sell. Correct. So whether it's her listing or not, yes, I would suggest that the experience would have been almost as wonderful. Mm-hmm. They were similar. I think what Kim's referring to is that when we were dealing with them purchasing the house um, that the team also had for sale, it was a quicker, there was no one in the middle. I could right. go straight to both clients mm-hmm. back right. and forth. So, so that they, was beautiful too. Yes. yes. The answers yes. were much quicker Where yes. when they were selling theirs mm-hmm. and we had a different buying agent. It took more time. You didn't help time. the buyer with that one I either? I didn't find mm-hmm. the buyer that time. Um, and so it was a little bit longer because mm-hmm. I had to get to another agent right. who then had to get to her client who had to get back and to her agent see a little bit the and difference. then come back yeah. to me. Yeah, so they saw felt the difference. a little bit of a difference. Um, in time. Yeah, in and time. I can appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So when, because I think I cut you off when we were talking about what okay. you told um, the, the folks that called. Right. So really you just assured them that A, you were going to get yeah. solid information, you were going to get the facts, and there was going to be no smoke screen. That's right. <laughs> well, it was kind of like that. It was yeah, very it was quick. You had, a, like that. you had a, a, a few questions for me as, you know, it, it was more like a personality. If, um, you know, if I liked my experience with, with the Decker team and yeah, told them I did. Good. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's important that when, when you're looking for references that you pair them up with the right types of personalities that they can connect to. And that's what I wanted to do was give that person the best um, reference between us to say, okay, you know what, yeah. speak to I my love husband. that. Thank you, mm-hmm. Kim. You're welcome. Like, it's so neat that you're concerned about... <laughs> the reception of that information, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For, for our sake and for their yes. sake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like, wanted him cool to know the honest truth. Look at the amazing clients we get to work with. <laughs> like, it's incredible. <laughs> Yeah, we're very thankful too because now when it came time to uh, to sell our home, we thought, okay, well, you know, this will take a few months. It's the middle. I think I had that in my mind that it was going to take a while. And what was and, the experience uh, like? <laughs> it sold in it ten was, business days, and all the paperwork quick. was done in ten yeah. business days. We counted it. We couldn't believe it. We uh, were taken off for a winter vacation. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. I was yeah. in your house then. I was showing it you to were someone. Showing, yeah. had, you, it, you showed our house even before it was on the that's market. That's right, I did. I had buyers that I thought it that's might right. match perfectly with. And we with. thought that was really neat, the fact that you guys are a team, because it's not just Candace working on behalf of herself. You've got a team of people who have leads or contacts out there who can then collaborate on the sale and stuff. So I thought, that's really neat. Okay, so we're taking off on our vacation, and as soon as we arrive, I get a text message saying that. Offers are coming in. Yeah. <laughs> right? So yeah. we had like a, there were several visits uh, yeah. on the first yeah. few days of our uh, listing vacation of the listing, yeah, and um, 
Yeah, like we had actually multiple offers, I think. And um, you, yeah. think? you don't even we were, remember it's a brand, no, Patrick. Si- sitting on the beach, three, and yeah, uh, yeah. we were just kind of discussing offers. And um, yeah, we actually settled uh, the sale of our home while while we were on vacation. And yeah. where were you vacationing? We were, we were in, in Bermuda. Yeah, in Bermuda, <laughs> playing yeah. golf. Yeah, oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, it was And so you didn't worry fun. about anything. No, we didn't nope. because we again we were in constant communication with her. And we we Texts, often Texts, emails, whatever. Text messages, e- he, she emailed us the PDF documents. Uh you know, we were able to sign things and f- it happened so quickly in the first 2 days of our vacation. You know, yeah. we we signed we signed papers. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. And our strategy was that it was it was January and the, there wasn't much competition mm-hmm. um, as far as sellers. And of course, well, that was key, spring market, yeah. there's going to be more competition as a seller. Um, and the buyers are looking for that new next best mm-hmm. thing in January. They're motivated buyers. They have to buy something or else they're not trudging the snow generally. Mm-hmm. And your house was perfect and showed beautifully. And so then they got excited about it. Our thought was, once you're on vacation, many showings happen in the first two weeks. So we'll get those showings out of the way and not being inconvenienced by that. And lo and behold, we received (laughs) offers, which was fantastic. So we were celebrating. (laughs) (laughs) So guess what? Do you realize we've been chatting for about a half an hour? Really? Wow. Uh, that went fast. <laughs> and so, Candice, you've got to tell the folks that are watching and listening yes. about a few, a couple, quickly, okay. you don't have much time, a okay. couple of great properties that they may want to call you about. Okay. So, we have another property that's very similar to the one they purchased, actually, Kim and Patrick. And it's in the same area, Rideau Forest. It's at 750, a four bedroom house built in 2004. Be- shows beautifully, meticulously uh, taken care of. So you'll need to check that one out. And it's on Rito Ben. Give me a call and we can discuss it. And the other one is for an investor or a first time buyer. It is listed at $180,000. And it's a great three bedroom uh, townhouse condo that one car garage. So Lots of opportunity there to get in the market. And it's in Blackburn Hamlet, so it's city bus services, city water, city sewer, so kind of something for everybody. Yeah. And we have everything in between. We kind of talked about what do we want to tell you about? We thought, where these guys live, Mm -hmm. and then something that would be maybe an investment property Mm -hmm. for somebody like you guys. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. This is so much fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you much everybody. For and if you have any questions, you want to join us on the show, if you want to have this experience, or even if you don't, and you're willing to step in there and have it anyway, <laughs> give us a call so we can journey with you through the real estate experience. It's Yetta Decker at 613-860-4663. And we're here to answer your questions. Do you want to